and Al Nasser 14 points behind the eventual champions Al Hilal Nasser is already two points behind seems strange to say so early on but such are the standards set by Al Hilal that Ronaldo and co know that they can't afford against Al Nasser who haven't always been convincing on the run were unable to do so they know that margin for error is massively reduced he knows what it takes to win and we've seen so many pictures and uh, video footage of a hero Shamrani, Maggi, the match run. And Otavio are going to play a key role. Lovely run from Ronaldo. Ronaldo will get there first. Ronaldo Duquil was out swiftly. Otavio, Talisca, might be through here. Talisca, 1 0. Hasn't taken long for the big Brazilian to make his mark. Talisca, who just loves playing against this opposition, gives Al Nasser the lead inside five minutes. Well, Christos Contis will not be happy with this. To cut right through the middle of your defence is not something they will have worked on. They will have wanted it to be wide, but that pass and then just a tiny, intelligent bit of interplay between... No foul, there's a shot, just comfortably fielded. <laughs> Teller's getting forward here, the full back position. Pat can, the tempo can be upped. And you would have done so much work. Ronaldo out wide, and now he waits in the middle. The Al Nasser captain, he can find it. Sakala. Game doesn't happen again this season. Lapses of concentration that were so costly. A tight central defensive four for Al Fayyad to look to frustrate. But possession themselves when they've had the ball. Sakala in, Bento out. No offside flag either against them last season. So not a team that's looking to keep a lot of the ball. Oh. That will be a free kick and uh, talking to at best. One pull back on defensive detail here as it's floated in. Al Ramos cross. By Al Lajami. As they're coming together, which will. Uh... The Ford got his head to it first. And Ronaldo away. Whether he's on side is another matter. And he hits the foot of the Pane, though. Talisca. Ronaldo. Against Al Ghanam, amongst others. Sakala! Ghanam is set off, but so too has Faris Abdi. Through uh, congested midfield, Sakala. He's found a way through here. Changing passes with Mane. Al Ghanam. Popping up on the left for Al Nasser. Tellez. Now we both watched them on several occasions last season. You find yourself looking at them and going, it's here for the winning. They can actually really waiting to see if he's okay. Otavio. Ronaldo was close. Al Ganab. Al fire player, he's now up. Running is Brozovic, so inviting. Kaltan on Ghana. And Sakala. 
Ali Al Hussein is the man in the middle. Garib scoots away here, Garib. Sakala. Al Hussein is back with Sakala. Bouncing around dangerously. Assume a little bit of control. He just poked his arm out a little bit, didn't he? There, tell us. being asked not a bad effort snapshot from just outside the uh, penalty area it's ended up flying wide Tavio Garib trying to catch out the keeper at the near post nice and alert wasn't he Brozovic takes Ronaldo rises but Ronaldo puts it over the top. Well, it was... Mane. Looked like he'd had a break to open things up, but they're doubling up. Mane's got his cross away this time. Talisker's missed it. And Garib couldn't bring it under his spell. Talisker. Ronaldo. Talisker again. Ronaldo. Down goes Talisker. That'll be a free kick inside the D for Al Nasser. Yeah, Talisker and Tellez also standing over it. But it is Ronaldo, and it's in! Barely a run-up. But such a familiar story. A strike of quality. And a really telling blow in the context of this contest. On the stroke of half-time, Ronaldo doubles Al Nasser's lead. And in so doing, moves on to 899 career goals. Wonderful. Just sumptuous. And in the first half, Luis Castro. But they are where they want to be. And it's Al Faya, Ronaldo. Mane. Working in a tight situation. Very congested. Ronaldo. Alcabi. Opportunity. On by Otavio. Alcana. Ronaldo. Couldn't. Tarib. Mane. Tell us trying to get that. Abdul Rahman Garib. Ronaldo. Delph on side here. He's run into trouble in the form of Laporte. Brozovic. Gary. Talisca. Back to Al Hussein. Sakala again. Saldawish. Oh, what a finish. Blasted home by Brozovic. From the tightest of angles. And if there was any doubt about the result, there is certainly not now. A belter from Brozovic. Oh, and it's all down to Mane. Still full of running, still got that acceleration, and that reverse pass to Brozovic is brilliant. He spots Wailo. Pozuelo for Sakala. Well, they pulled one back. A well deserved consolation. No clean sheet to add to the three points for Al Nasser. One of all the players in and Talisca, who started off the scoring, perhaps seeking to finish it and settle for the free kick. Drawing the challenge from it's Talisca, and that is a fine way to finish it all off. A second for Talisca, a force for Al Nasser. And another fabulous free kick. Wow. He's outdone Cristiano Ronaldo. This is special. Really whips that up and over. This is right in the top corner. No opportunity for Al Dakil. He was surprised. <laughs>
Hi guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video. Hi guys, Al Nasser against Al Fauha is 4 1 for Al Nasser. Ronaldo scored an amazing freaking goal. So you must put like for supporting Cristiano Ronaldo. And also don't forget to put like for Taliska. Taliska scored the two goals today. So it's 4 1. And Al Nasser finally get a good form because Al Hilal is so good in this season. But they need to continue to work for future trophy in Saudi Pro League. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.